Welcome to Asteroid Day 2017. I'm Stuart Clark. And my name is Sabine Fongafke. We're here today for Asteroid Day. It's the third annual time this day has been run. It's both a celebration of science and understanding and a conversation about asteroids and their place both in our past and in our future. It's a truly global conversation. Today we are going to um, have experts um, talk to us about every aspect of the asteroids and what they mean for humanity here on Earth. Mm. The third asteroid day today is the first to be declared by the United Nations. And each year since its inception, it has almost doubled the events that it puts on. Today, there are a thousand independently organized events in 200 countries around the world. That is amazing. And Stuart, how did you come across to be a participant of Asteroid Day? Uh, it was a phone call um, from, from, from Greg Richters, the filmmaker, um, who had worked on a film about asteroids called 51 Degrees North. And I, I took the phone call one afternoon and he said, um, I've got this great idea. Uh, why don't we do something like live aid for asteroids? I said, sounds good to me. And here we are. And here we are. That's a great story. How about you? Well, it was quite recently. I was moderating at the Luxembourg, Luxembourg ICT Spring event, and there was a division that was selected for space. And I ran into Greg and Danica, and I was like, is there anything I can do if I can host this? I wanted to be an astronaut since I was five. This is the closest I can get. And, and here I am, uh, having the possibility to host it with you and Brian Cox, and it feels absolutely amazing. Now, today is um, packed full. Mm. It definitely is. We're going to have, um, I mean, there, like you said, this is a global event and we have independent Asteroid Days events and broadcasts happening all over the world. And we're going to touch down on some of them during the day. So we're going to have Skype calls and hopefully space is with us. So these Skype calls will flow as they should. And we'll talk to some of the countries that we've selected and see what they're up to. And of course, here in the studio, we have an audience. And not only that, we'll also have panel sessions that Stuart and Brian will be hosting with renowned and knowledgeable and inspirational experts and astronauts, astrophysicists, asteroid experts, and, and all the people that, that are relevant within this sector. And they're going to, I mean, the topics that you're going to convey are about, like you mentioned, raising global awareness about Asteroid Day, not only about the impact of an asteroid, but also the happy side and the joyful side of it. If we have the knowledge, we also know how we can actually go about um, avoiding this and, and how we can utilize that knowledge to also know more about where we're from. And with that, I think it's time to also introduce some other co-hosts. I would like to introduce uh, John Luca Massi, who is an Italian astrophysicist with uh, a PhD in astronomy. And he actually started the Virtual Telescope Project back in 2006 that revolves around crowdsourcing observations in the universe. And luckily, we have John Luca here in the studio all day. And he will be checking surveys with the Catalina Sky Survey and the pan stars in the, in the United States, and then transition over to Japan and China to some of the observatories there. So, John Luca, I hand over to you. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Yes, this is going to be really an epic asteroid day. We will be spying scientists while they are looking for near Earth asteroids. So, we will do this live. This is something unique. And then we will also see how amateur astronomers and other scientists will take care of those discoveries to avoid to lose those objects, so the important follow-up things, and a lot of other things. So really, this live section of this amazing, really great event, I think will be quite rewarding. So stay tuned, and thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, John Luca. And with that, I'd like to present an additional co-host who is at the Science Center, where she and her team will eagerly be checking out the different demonstrations and ex exper experiments and also meeting knowledgeable astronauts and, and experts. And of course, I'm talking about Natalie Reuter, who is also a well-known news presenter and TV presenter at RTL Television Luxembourg. So Natalie, hopefully you're with us. How do you have it over there? E yeah, it's perfect here. Welcome to the Science Center here in Diffedange. And I am not alone. With me is uh, 
Dr. Guillaume Trapp, he is the scientific director of the Science Center, and Nicolas Didier, he's the president and founder of the Science Center. This center will open its doors to the public in October. What is the center all about? Well, the center, the, the mission of the center is really to generate new vocations in new technologies. Basically, in the economy of tomorrow, we need new jobs, and these jobs, nobody experiences them at this present time, and eventually they will have to be fulfilled. For example, asteroid mining. And from that purpose, what we see today is that to a very large extent, selections, vocations, professional vocation selection is haphazardly. Uh, people, youngsters, just select anything, don't have the experience what is actually out of in the market and what we are recreating here is the experience recreating in a very um, uh, attractive environment the way for them to experience the new technologies so this is a place of the future and we will show you lots of demonstrations and experiments from here and uh, Guillaume is already ready he's uh, standing at the Tesla high voltage generator. Why did you want to start here? Well, today is asteroid day, so we'll, we'll talk a lot about rocks falling from the sky and impacting the Earth. And I thought, well, there are other natural phenomena impacting the Earth every day, for instance, lightning. And it turns out we have here a very high voltage generator just behind you. And I'll, I'll turn it on and you'll see how it goes. Okay, on the so count of three. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. So this was very high voltage. How many yes, volts is. was that? Uh, it was, uh, to be precise, 1.5 million volts. And so about a thousand times less than real and lightning. Is it dangerous? Uh, well, sort of. Uh, I mean, I it's not lethal, but if you were to touch such a spark, uh, it would be quite, quite painful. Uh, but the, the reason why it's not dangerous at all in this environment is because we, we built this cage around the, the generator, the Faraday so, cage. And it would be nice to have also such a Faraday cage around asteroids, wouldn't it? Back to you to the studio. Thank you very much, Natalie, and look forward to checking up with you later on. Um, like we mentioned, Astro Day is about raising awareness and education, but today is not a one-way monologue. It's actually a two-way dialogue. So we want all of you audiences out there um, who are looking at all different live streams to participate with us. So please send your thoughts, your ideas, and most importantly, your questions, as we will have panels. And after that, I have a Twitter wall here where we will see your questions, and hopefully I'll be able to direct them to some of the um, experts and I know look already Isa is already out there live um, from their broadcast Udo Kugel explains their new fly eye telescope and our hashtag is of course Astro Day Live and with that it's time for our first panel session so Stuart over to you <laughs> 